Hello, my name is Thomas, and in this video, I'm gonna show you an email service that will save you some serious time. Okay, so raise your hand if you like email spam. I'm gonna guess if the answer was yes to that question, you probably need a hobby. But in all seriousness, spam can be arguably one of the most frustrating things about email for a number of different reasons. First of all, we don't like to receive it. But second of all, it wastes so much of that precious time. And most of us, if not all of us, work to some degree in email. Obviously, we mostly use it in our personal lives. We also use it a lot for work, particularly if you're a creator or a small business owner, there's a good chance that you're gonna be using email a lot in order to run the more business aspects of the type of work that you do. The biggest challenge about spam and keeping your, your email organized, however, is that you really are at the mercy of really anybody who has your email address. And after some time, regardless of how careful you are with that email address, it's going to get on a list. And then that list is probably gonna get sold to someone else who then sells it to someone else who then, and you get the idea. Until eventually every single day you're logging into your email account and you're finding that there is a ton of spam. Maybe you even reached the same point that I did several years back where I had probably 80% spam and 20% messages that I actually wanted to receive. Now there are spam filters and some of them work pretty well. Some like Gmail have them built in. Some app mail apps also have them built in, but from my experience, those only work probably at their best around 50 to 60% of the time. Really bad repeat offenders will get caught in that spam folder or spam filter. However, it doesn't catch everything, particularly for sites that maybe you sign up for but never opted into any sort of email correspondence and they start emailing you and maybe you click that unsubscribe link I've been there, and then you don't actually get unsubscribed. Been there too. So this has led me on a hunt for years, trying to find a tool that made email easier to manage, and I finally found it. It's a tool called Hey. Hey is essentially an email service provider, similar to that uh, of like Gmail. You know how Gmail provides you the ability to go in and create an email address, myname at gmail.com. In the same way, you can go and create a Hey email account. So it'd be your name at hey.com. However, one of the things that I really like about it, in addition to the ability to being able to create a hey.com account, you can also use your own custom domain, which is something that is super important if you're gonna be running your own business or if you're going to be doing email that is more on a business, less personal level. Okay, so that's all great, but what does that have to do with spam and productivity and keeping emails organized? So there are a lot of things that I like about Hey, but I think the number one feature, and I'll demo it for you here in a moment. If you don't wanna hear my kind of explanation before, and you can just skip right on ahead to the demo. But the thing I like about it the most is it's got a screening feature. So that every single time that you receive an email from somebody who you are not expecting it from, somebody who you haven't received an email from before on your Hey.com account, it will ask you to screen that. And then you can actually specify if you want this to show up in your inbox, traditionally known as your inbox. If you want it to show up in your inbox, if you want it to show up in your kind of newsletters feed, or if you want it to be in your paper trail feed, you know, things like receipts or order confirmations or uh, invoices or things like that. And so after some time of training Hey and using it for your daily email, what you'll notice over time is that you're gonna start receiving fewer and fewer and fewer emails. Things that are spam are gonna be automatically marked as spam. Things that you don't necessarily need to know about in your inbox, like I said, like the paper trail, if you get an invoice or something like that that you don't need immediately, that just goes straight to your paper trail. Or if you get an email from a newsletter that you're subscribed to, that goes to your newsletter subscription area. And you can just check that whenever you want. So what it does is it cuts way back on the the number of emails that are demanding your attention so that you can focus 
fully upon the things that require your attention, saving you a ton of time. Okay, so that's a nice explanation, but let's go ahead and just pop into Hey and I'll create an account and show you some of my favorite features. Okay, so here we are at the Hey website and it's just hey.com. I can leave a link below as well. I'm not an affiliate or anything, so no special link. I'm just gonna click try it free and then I'll click let's get started. Now what I'm doing here is I'm creating an account before I go any further. I'm creating an account at hey.com. So you need to make sure if you're gonna be using a custom domain that you go through a separate process, you can also get a free trial, but you're going to need to connect that custom domain to your hey.com account. So you can do an email that's you know me at mydomain.com as opposed to hey.com. If you're just gonna be using this for personal use, you don't need that custom domain, you can just follow what I'm doing here, just create a hey.com account. So let's just go ahead and do Thomas TV if it's available. Looks like it is, Thomas TV at hey.com. Click next. Go ahead and set a password. Go ahead and click next. I need a backup email address. There we go, you're all set up. So we've got this new email address all ready to go. So let's go ahead and click okay, let's go. And then they're gonna give you a quick walkthrough. And this is what I was talking about. This is what is so cool about this. You can just see an example here. This is kind of what's your inbox, but this is that thing I was talking about where you can actually screen emails that are coming in. So they're kind of walking you through this. You go ahead and click yes. Okay, so there you go. You see that it's now showing up in what's considered your inbox, but essentially it's just your inbox. Uh, and then you're off and running. So let's go ahead and click on this. One of the other things I really like about Hey is that it's very big and bold and readable. So the emails are very clear. It's not that tiny font that Gmail and so many of these others have. Plus it's got dark mode, which I really like. Uh, so here's a number of emails that they send you kind of as you're getting started, but uh, I'm gonna use these just to kind of show you really quick some of my favorite features. So first off is that inbox, right? So this is going to be everything that you have approved. If you haven't approved it, it will show up in that screen that we just looked at where you would screen it. So that's one. Number two, what I like is that they've got so many of these features built in that enable you to kind of speed read through emails and just knock them out one after another. So that'll be this little button over here that allows you to read together. You click read together, you can go through, you can read it, uh, and you can just scroll through these emails and see them kind of uh, as a synopsis of each of these. The other thing that you can do, and you usually do this in your screening process, but when you're actually looking at an email, you'll see here you've got this little more button down here and you can actually click this to move it to wherever you want. So if we click this move button, let's say that maybe this one is gonna go in the paper trail, right? So you see that now if I click this uh, hey button up here. I've got my inbox, just my main emails, the feed, which is going to be things like newsletters, paper trail, things that's going to be like receipts or invoices, like I mentioned, things that you're going to reply later to, things that you're kind of bookmarking to set aside, and then everything that has files. Uh, so this is super helpful. So if somebody's sending you uh, a file attachment and you're trying to hunt through tons of emails to find that file attachment, it's so cool because you can just click on that all files and it's gonna show you only the emails that have file attachments. So you can kind of zoom through to find those files as you need them. The other thing that you can do is you can actually create these things called clips. So if there's a piece of an email that's super important that you're constantly finding yourself referring back to, maybe license key for software, or maybe it's some information that you need for a trip you're about ready to take, you can click save, uh, save clip, I should say. And then if you look at your clips, you can see just those little snippets and they show up in this nice, nice grid format. So you can scroll through them and then you can delete them when you no longer need them. A lot of things that are just set up to make productivity a lot faster. The other thing I really like is you'll notice that there are these little numbers that show up in the top right hand corner and I use these all the time. And they just allow you to use your keyboard to navigate between these different views. So when I check, hey, I just hit, two real quick to see my newsletter feed, three real quick to see my paper trail, scan it and I'm done. I don't have to worry about filing it. I don't have to worry about moving things around. I don't have to 
tag things that are invoices. I don't have to tag things that are newsletters. They're already sorted for me. I can just scan them and move on with my day. The other thing that's cool is you'll notice down here in the bottom left-hand corner, you have the option to reply now, which would be obvious you would just reply now, and then you can reply later or set aside. What's really cool about the reply later feature is that what you can do is you can go through and maybe you're skimming through your email and you're finding those ones you're going to reply later and then maybe this one you want to set aside to reference for another time. But the cool thing that I really like about this is if you click that icon right there or you can click here and then click go to focus and reply, you can just speed reply to these emails. You can just be like, hi there, Bill and then you can send the email and then you can just keep scrolling, start writing, send email, keep scrolling, and you can just plow through emails that way. It makes it super simple. And then once you've done that, you can, uh, this will clear out those things you need to deal with. So everything is always organized where you need it. You've got those things that you need to reference in the place that you need to reference it. And you've got the things that you need to take action on in the places where you need to take action right here up down below. And you see that they fan out very clean, very organized, and it just makes it also very nice to look at. And the fact that they're right here at the bottom in front of you, I think is also really handy because they're always kind of first, they're kind of front of mind. They're right there kind of telling you these need action. Same thing with this. I always like to make sure that if I set something aside, it's not necessarily something that's going to sit there forever. I don't want to have an endless list of bookmarked items. I want to make sure that I'm getting through these as quickly as possible. And then if you decide that you don't want to reply later, you can just go back into the email and uncheck that. So you can just open it, uncheck that, and then you'll see that they're gone. Same thing with this. Once I'm finished with it, maybe I can just uncheck check that set aside and then everything is good. The other thing you'll notice is that there is this separation between things that are unread and read. So everything that is previously seen will show up down here below and it's just an ongoing list and everything that's unread still shows up up here. Now if it, per, it may be that you want to kind of hide those. Maybe once you read something, you don't want to focus on it anymore. We have this little feature over here where you can actually pick a cover that will actually cover that up so that it, you don't have to worry about being distracted by it or going through and clicking on those things again. The idea is once you read something, typically you want to make sure that you take an action with that thing. So for a lot of people, just using the cover makes sense. And what I mean by that is that either you need to reply to it, either you need to, to mark it as I'm going to reply later, or you're going to set it aside, or you're going to file it in one of those other places. Like I want this to belong to newsletters, or I want this to belong in my paper trail. And I typically just remove the cover. I, I usually just keep these here just so if for whatever reason I need to reference something, I can do that really simply. Now, one of the other features I really like is that you can also go in here and you can create your own labels. And so what I do, let's go ahead and label this. It's very important that I'm able to track my expenses. And so what I do is I create two different labels. And so what I'm able to do is I'm able to go up here, scroll down to uh, my specific labels, click on expenses pending. And this way I'm able to see a nice organized list of all of the invoices uh, that I need to add to my accounting software. So I've got this list of expenses pending. So once I've added it uh, and it's been, you know, it's been attached as a PDF to my accounting software, which by the way, you can do just by printing. I think they've got a printing. Yeah, you can just print this thread. So I can just print this to my printer and then save it to PDF. Uh, and then once I've replied or once I have added it to my accounting software, then I can just change that label. I can just change that label to complete, remove the pending one, and then there we go. And if at any point in time I want to see all of the expenses that I've added, I can see that there. And if I need to check to see if there's new expenses I need to add, I can just check that label right there. The other thing I really like about Hey is its writing experience. It is so clean and simple. So many email providers, particularly Gmail, is very 
uh, notorious for this. It kind of shows up when you're writing an email in this little box that shows up in the bottom right hand corner, which makes no sense to me. If you want to be focusing on what you're writing, you want it to be big and bold and right there in the middle. That's one of the reasons I really like Hey. And then it shows your drafts up here. If you want to easily view each of those and click between them. So if you're big on writing drafts and saving those and organizing them, then their writing experience is going to be uh, super useful for you. The last thing I wanted to show you, which is really cool, is you can actually go through here as you're starting to train Hey to show only the emails that you want. You can start to filter your emails in even more ways. So if there's specific contacts, so everybody who's been emailing you, you can go and see all the emails from particular people. They've also got a super powerful search feature as well, which will show individual contacts as well as emails that have showed up. Uh, from those people but you can go through and if you want to you, of course you can view sent you can view all of the emails that have been screened out so one important thing that i forgot to mention early on is that during this screening process you're able to mark something as spam right you're able to say that this is spam i don't want to receive it anymore but beyond that even if it's not necessarily spam you can click thumbs up that the, I wanna receive this email either in my inbox or I wanna receive it uh, in my newsletter feed or I wanna receive it in the paper trail, right? So you're saying yes to this email or you can give it a thumbs down. You can just click no and you will no longer receive any emails from that email address. So as you're going through and training it, you're cutting down on that spam, which we talked about at the beginning of the video up to the point where I very rarely I would say I probably receive one, maybe two pieces of spam email per week, if that, because Hey has been doing such a good job of over time being trained to filter out those emails. Okay, that being said, but you can still go through here and you can click to see what's being screened out. So you can see how much email you're not having to deal with. You can see uh, sent, spam, everything that's in the trash. And then you can see everything. So if you're ever wondering, maybe I was supposed to get a confirmation email and it never came through, you can just click everything and you're going to see everything, everything that's in the trash, everything that's sent, everything that's archived, everything, everything will show up there. Okay, that's it. I wasn't meaning for this to be a super long and detailed tutorial. Instead, what I wanted to do is just kind of give you a behind the scenes look of some of the features that I've personally found the most useful about Hey. They've got a ton of video tutorials on their site and they've got some really helpful articles that kind of walk you through some of the tips and tricks. Actually, that's how I learned some of the tips and tricks that are particular to Hey. So I recommend you try it out. Like I said, I am not an affiliate. I receive zero commitment mission for referring you to hey it's just been a super useful tool and if it's at all useful i want to share it with you as well so as always if you found this video useful hit that like button subscribe if you're not already and i look forward to seeing you in the next video